Now that I've got it in one side flat. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, splinters. fantastic week going on I'm working on another project if you guys have been paying attention to all the social media that I put out there I'm working on a stool so here is the like little update right here it's made out of walnut I've got the two legs right here a stretcher and then the top the top is actually gonna be dovetailed into the legs but it's not gonna be a square I don't want it a square I want it to be at an angle because if the legs are square to the top, it has more of a tendency to rock. So they're going to be flared out a little bit. So that's going to be something new that I'm going to be trying with the dovetail. Here are a few planes as well that I've been working with lately. I've got this number five. I thought this was a Stanley, but it's not. I don't know. exactly. It's a Diamond Edge a Shapley Hardware jack plane. It's pretty nice. I made this handle a long time ago when I was first designing it, and it's horrible. I need to redo the handle on this, but it cleaned up really nice and works really well. I've also redid these two hand planes right here. This one is a king cutter, and this one is nice and sharp, works really good. And I like this one right here. This is a Craftsman number 3704. This one has an adjustable throat on it, or an adjustable mouth, which is really nice because you can pick how thick of a shaving you want. Now one tool that I've had for, I don't know, over a year maybe that I haven't used is this card scraper right here. This actually got used for the first time the other night while working on this stool build. This is a Stanley number 80 Sweetheart card scraper. I didn't even know it was a sweetheart until I took the blade off to go sharpen it. And this thing works magnificent. It left a very nice finish on the stool on the flat spots right here. And it was really nice working around the knots because I could go this way with the card scraper and then come back and come this way and get this really baby butt smooth, which was really nice. Hand planes would have just torn the wood right apart, but I got it very close and was able to get it smooth with the card scraper. So I also stopped by Harbor Freight the other day. They had a bunch of these brushes on sale, and I've actually gotten three now that I'm dedicating just specifically two different things that way I don't mix materials together. So I got one brush that's wood, one that's metal, and then one that is general use, and I can just do what whatever with that one. I can just wipe off whatever the floor, the workbenches, do whatever, and then I can clean it up later, I guess. But I thought it was a good idea, I don't know. So we put up a pool also this week, and that was not fun. It took a toll on my hands. I had to shovel out a bunch of material out of the ground. As you can see here, there was like a six inch cut I had to do on this side to get it nice and flat. But the kids are happy. We've been playing in the pool and stuff, and my son has already learned how to swim and we've only had it for like a week so that was pretty cool going with the, all the landscaping stuff we've been doing over the past spring i started working on the back deck as well repainting that as you can see right here i've got the old stuff and then the new side so this is taking a toll on the back deck we've never really up kept with it but we're painting it hopefully it'll last at least another year or two and then maybe we can replace the whole deck or at least just the flooring planks but even what i've just done right now i think it looks a lot better and brings it a new kind of life i know that i've knocked down companies before for their products and i've also praised companies before with their products the brushes from Harbor Freight are absolutely amazing. These things work very well. They, they hold a lot of paint. They don't dry up very easy and they wash incredibly easy. 
I've recently gotten some from Lowe's before and they were absolutely crap. The bristles kept falling out all over the project I was working on. Kept having to pick the bristles out. These bristles aren't falling out anywhere. They're holding up. I ended up going buying just a couple. I just figured I could throw them away later. I've already reused this same brush like four or five different times and it's still holding up well. Here is all that Get I'm going to be getting done today. It worked out pretty well with the small brush. I had to do everything by hand, but that's not a big deal. It went fairly quick, used up quite a bit of paint, but you can see a major difference from the old stuff and then the new stuff. And our front porch looks really good with the brown paint, so this is a really good choice. Hopefully over the next week or so, I'll be able to get the rest of all this done, all the handrails, everything like that. So hopefully over the course of the week, I'll be able to get the stool finished up. I'll also be able to get the deck finished up because that looks kind of weird, half and half. So we need to get that finished. We need to get the stool all finished up, the dovetails cut on that, and maybe some more plain refinishing. I'm gonna start putting some of them up on eBay again. I did it a little while ago, sold a few, and now it's time to sell a few more. You guys need to check out what I got in the mail the other week. I haven't shown it off yet. I was planning on making something specific for this before showing it off, but I'm tired of waiting. This is really cool. It's off of Etsy from a woodworker off of Facebook group, the Unplugged Woodworkers, and is a poster of the patent for the number four hand plane, and also this little block plane. That is pretty cool. They, uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below as to where you could purchase your own. It's on very, very, very good material. Highly recommend it if you like this kind of stuff that you can go get it. Okay, well that's all I got for this week with just the general blog update. I got this project that I'm working on and then a few other little odd and end things, cleaning up the shop and other things and it just takes a little bit of time. But Here's just a quick view of the stool so far. I've gotten some of the dovetails cut with the angles on it. That's all I'm going to show you right now. So thanks for watching this video. I will see you guys on the next vlog.